हेलो क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ब्रेन वेब्स क्लास इंग्लिश दिस इज इंग्लिश एडुकेटर भूमि एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू चैप्टर नंबर एट ऑफ योर हनी कोम बुक अ होमेज टू आवर ब्रेव शोल्जर्स ऑथर नेम इज नॉट देयर बिकॉज दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टोरी इज रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ लेटर वेन वी विल गो थ्रू दिस स्टोरी यू विल सी दैट अ लेटर पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मेट इज मेनटेन ओवर हेयर विच विल हेल्प डेफिनेटली टू यू इन राइटिंग लेटर ओके यू ऑलवेज गो फॉर लेटर राइटिंग यू हैव नेवर सीन एक्चुअल लेटर राइट सो दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टोरी इज रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ लेटर सो होप दैट यू विल लर्न द फॉर्मेट ओके फाइन सो नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग अवर टाइम लेट्स गो इन टू द लेटर वॉट वी विल सी इन द स्टोरी टू फ्रेंड्स दे शेयर देयर फीलिंग्स अबाउट ब्रेव शोल्जर्स वन ऑफ दम shares her experience of visiting the national war memorial that has left a deep impact on her they exchange letters and share their feeling of gratitude for the freedom they enjoy because of the sacrifices made by the brave hearts of the country the memorial symbolizes the patriotism of the indian soldiers what is this memorial so here two friends they exchange the letters on the topic brave soldiers they enjoy the freedom because brave soldiers have sacrificed their life so they remember the thing and somya shares her ideas shares whatever she had felt when she went to national war memorial because that uh, when she went to that memorial it had left a deep impact on her okay so this particular letter is written by somya to anand okay like we write in the letter the address similarly here also address is given somya ke house number jayanagar bengaluru date 14th april 2022 dear anand hope you all doing well do you remember our last conversation about war and peace that means the last conversation was about war and peace we talked about how india had to struggle for its independence from the british for many centuries how india has fought against britishers this particular topic about this topic they had exchanged their ideas previously or last letter they had exchanged their ideas on particular this topic post independence of our country has led to fight several war to protect its border territorial integrity and its people this made me wonder who were these brave indian people so maybe she has heard about this that post independence in our country has led to fight several wars to protect our india from britishers so this particular thing has made her wonder that uh, even she had a curiosity to know that who were that people who were that brave people who fought for india they fought to protect our country and sacrificed their life so that we could lead our lives in peace definitely we always hear this thing that pastly or previously all the soldiers all freedom fighters they fought for our country why to to lead the next so that the next generation can lead the life in peace therefore they had sacrificed their life so this is really something which gives us very uh, motivation even it increases a curiosity in each and every one's mind that how this happened who was who were the people what were their names where did they come from does anyone remember anything about them definitely when we hear about them we also think these things that who were they what was their names from where they came definitely all people's name is cannot be recorded that time all people's name cannot be recorded but yeah some people's name could be recorded and that we study in our history Last week I got some answers to know of my question during my educational trip to New Delhi organized by our school that means uh, the place where she went she actually went for a school trip educational school trip you may recall i was looking forward to this trip and visit to many places of historical and educational significance she went to several new places 
historical places and she, even she got her answers also of what questions she was having i learned several new things and i'm excited to share them with you let me begin by asking to you that guess the name of monument that i found most inspiring let's see that you can un you can guess the construction of this monument started in april 2018 and completed in february 2019 it was envisioned and then inaugurated by india's prime minister shri narendra modi in february 2019 in terms of location and size it spread over 40 acres of land near the ionic india gate but more importantly it is a tribute to some of the bravest indian i'm sure you have guessed it's the national war memorial won't you say a long desired aspirations was fulfilled so here she is telling that it's a she has first of all given the description of that place that 40 acres land it carries it started to build in april 2018 and completed in february 2019 she went to that place and what was that place this now i have mentioned what is that place national war memorial yes correct national war memorial so this particular place was made in april 2018 and completed in february 2009 uh, i guess yes completed february 2019 and even inauguration was also done into february 2019 by our prime minister who is the prime minister yes shri narendra modi so the inauguration purpose was done by him so this is the place where somya went and now that particular place story she will mention the upcoming part now i have divided this uh, this particular chapter in two to three videos 10 minutes one video there will be so this much okay next let's begin again our visit to the national war memorial began with our teacher explaining that even after independence india had to fight acha so before they visited national war memorial their teacher began to tell something the their teacher explained something what was the thing after india still need to fight many wars to protect itself and the freedom and security that we enjoy today is because of that many brave men and women who had served in indian armed forces over decades now we know about independence independence of india that many people fight for that but even after independence also still still even after independence also many indians need to sacrifice their life actually they were armies armies and soldiers so they need to sati uh, sacrifice their life to satisfy ourselves to satisfy our security now also still now some wars are going on like uh, pakistan india war kashmir and uh, china war kashmir na it's ladakh ladakh and china war we have we know this so it's still going on many armies are still now they are sacrificing their life why to protect the land of india right so still now it is happening so who were that particular brave people like uh, who were the brave people brave armies who are sacrificing their life now this thing we will study over here we always go like independence for independence for india's independence who were studied we know them not all but some we know but we don't know the names of now people who sacrifice their life to protect the land of india even after independence that the wars are going now this is what makes monument like the national war memorial extremely important so that we should never forget the cost of freedom we all we are aware always of the pain and horrors of war we learned that each brick of the memorial is called a tablet and it bears the name of soldiers who fought for india and made the supreme sacrifice in different wars from 1947 till date now what that new museum is made up. the new museum is made because to remember the sacrifices of the people sacrifices of the army soldiers after independence till now till date tablets are there in that museum which shows the name of the armies who had sacrificed their life now important line is given national war memorial is extremely important why it is extremely important because each brick of the memorial is called as a tablet where uh, names of the armies are written who sacrificed their life and this is made so that we should never forget the cost of a freedom that we we have got now okay 
there are total 29000 tablets tablets means it is uh, it is a tablet tablet means uh, a place where names of the soldiers are written who sacrificed their life okay so 29000 tablets are there on which more than 26000 names of fallen soldiers have been etched have been written it was hurting hurting to know that our government has recognized the sacrifice of brave soldiers it is very uh, good to know that our government has recognized has remembered the sacrifice of that people who sacrificed their life our teacher has told that 21 brave hearts who were awarded the param vir chakra even there was 21 people 21 brave hearts brave people who had got param vir chakra or pvc pvc is the highest war time gallantry medal for their sacrifice for their for the service for the service that they provided to the nation she also told the about the mahavir chakra that is that is mvc kirti chakra veer chakra shorya chakra these are some medals provided to armies who had give uh, who had given service to the nation chakra names are very important underline okay now i need to end my video over here because it is already 11 minutes over i cannot continue further definitely i would continue it in next video thank you